making easy overnight baked pesto sticks. Yum! Katie and I took a cook her first cooking class when she was in maybe first grade, second grade. And this is a modified version of the overnight blueberry French toast from Deerberg's cooking class. Yes. Okay. Here, what you need? I got six eggs. I'm gonna do your bread, right? Yes. Okay. So you sprayed your pan. You sprayed a cooking spray on the pan. Okay, so while you're working the egg mixture, I'm gonna take care of the bread. Yes. I got six eggs. Now you need two cups whole milk. And one and a half a cup of packed brown sugar. And one two teaspoon of vanilla. Was it teaspoons or tablespoons? Tablespoon. Yeah. Of vanilla. Well, I need that vanilla. Vanilla is really good. Okay, the two of uh, brown cinnamon. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of brown cinnamon. important when you're cooking. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to do, she's going to blend that together yeah. and pour it all over the bread. Yep. And we use Texas toast this time. We use Texas toast bread. Uh, another thing that works good is uh, sliced French bread or um, Italian bread. Just something, you know, thick that soaks up all the, all the egg mixture. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. I gotta scare a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this over there and you're gonna start pouring. Yeah. Where is getting my bush look? To get the cinnamon in there? Yeah. Don't worry about that. So start at one end and make sure so that you get it on every piece of bread. And I'm really try, careful. Try to stay in the pan. That would be helpful, right? Yes. It is really good. And it's, <laughs> and it's gonna soak up the bread. Okay, so what I might do with this one is we might trade places with a piece of bread. You can put that in the sink while I tr do some trading. So we're going to trade places with this yep. end piece and bring it over here. And we're going to tilt it a little bit just so that all of these pieces get soaked up the the egg, the egg mixture. So we're gonna put this in the refrigerator yep. until all of the egg mixture is soaked up. Yes. And turn this around. Put that over there. And then you'll be back. And then after you after you dip. Bake this. So what happens is you'll preheat your oven at 375 mm -hmm. degrees. Mm -hmm. In you'll, 25 minutes. You'll bake it for 25 minutes. And then you'll check it though to make sure that it's set. Okay, we will see you later. Yeah, later. Look at that. And make it in the cake. I did the, the toast out of the oven and cool. I did slice. So you're slicing them into your sticks, your French toast sticks? Yes. Cool.
great. We'll go ahead, you just, you finish all of these. Yep. And finish up those. Yeah. And it's easy to do it with a uh, pizza cut. I need a pizza cut. So I'm gonna lay these over here, okay? All right. And put it as my nice over here. And you can put powdered sugar on these. Powdered sugar or maple cinnamon. Syrup, maple syrup. It has cinnamon in the mix. Yeah. Okay, so here are those. And I'm gonna take this and put it in the freezer. Yeah. We'll put those in the refrigerator for dad. Yeah. I'll put that in the refrigerator for my dad. Alright, so are we going to dip and taste? Then you dip and take taste. <laughs> and when those freeze, then you're going to stick them in your prepared bag, right? Yes. Yeah. And you put the date on them and what they are? Yes. Yeah. They never last very long, but we put the date on anyway. Yes. Yeah. You know, so that you know. Anybody who freezes food knows that sometimes you just forget what's what it is yeah. when you froze it so yeah. we kind of always do that all right well i'm going to cut it in half i'm just going to take a little piece i think the peak piece you take the big you you be the first one you go first mom. <laughs> okay all right let's see so this is maple syrup it's dripping <laughs> okay well now you're so good I couldn't eat the maple syrup on the way to the oh, yeah. tour, but hey, nice snack. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And happy summer. Happy summer. Happy summer cooking.